I was 21 when I was told I needed dentures. I thought my entire world was gonna crash and burn. I thought my life was over. <laughs> when I finally had every single tooth pulled out and I, I had my full set of dentures, and I saw myself for the first time with just a beautiful full set of white teeth. It was amazing. <laughs> and then when she finally was getting comfortable with her teeth, she would pop her teeth out. This was, you know, I was startling. This is my denture drawer. I have all of my essentials in here, and this is where I go every morning. I need toothpaste, glue, and a tablet. I was born with a genetic issue, which gives me weak and brittle teeth. Growing up, I was in and out of the dentist office for fillings, always had cavities, no matter how much I brushed or how many treatments I had done. And then when I was 18, I had 22 root canals done and all of my teeth crowned to try to save them. And within a year, everything started just rapidly failing. So that led to me needing all my teeth pulled. I was 21 when I was told I needed dentures. I only sleep with my upper in and not my lower. So usually my lower will just be in here when I wake up. I thought my entire world was gonna crash and burn. I thought my life was over. And I just had so many bad thoughts in my head. I thought that was it for me. <laughs> I was 22 when I had the full upper denture done. And then exactly a year later, I was 23 when I had the full lower denture done. After I clean my lower denture, I just use a little bit of denture adhesive. So just a couple little dabs. As little as possible is always best. And then I just pop it in. When I finally had every single tooth pulled out and I, I had my full set of dentures, and I saw myself for the first time with just a beautiful full set of white teeth. It was just, it was amazing. <laughs> it made me feel so good and so happy. When I look in the mirror, I see just a normal person that's a little bit different. I may not have teeth that are in my head, but I do have teeth. Having dentures has opened so many doors for me. It led to a denture company reaching out to me and hiring me as their patient advocate, which led to us doing two pro bono surgeries for two young girls my age and just changing their lives and giving them their smiles back. Because of dentures, I've met so many people and became really good friends with a lot of these people on these online communities and on social media. This was one of my first videos that really blew up on TikTok. It had 405,000 views, 904 shares, and over 8,000 likes. It was more so being in the Facebook support groups for dentures. I thought maybe I should try this on a broader spectrum and see if I could reach more people. So we are doing a TikTok live. Um, we're gonna do like a quick little Q&A and just answer as many questions as we can. And we are live. <laughs> Good morning. Princess Glitterhead said, your teeth look amazing and support your lips so well. I hope you got them really comfy now. You are so cute. Um, thank you so much. And yes, um, they are finally feeling comfortable um, and they're not bothering me anymore. Just listening to other people's stories from like other countries, like knowing like they're going through it too, like it's not just here. Somebody said, does your husband prefer with or without during bedtime? Um, my husband does not have a preference. <laughs> when I met Adam, that's really when my teeth started to get really bad. I was like, look, like I, I have to have multiple teeth pulled and I need all this work done. And he was just always there for me, just, you know, comforting me. Did you do your TikTok today? Yeah, it was good. Did you go live? Yeah, there was lots of people and lots of questions. And when she got dentures, I, I didn't really care. It made her more confident, so whatever made her happy, you know, I was okay with. It didn't really matter. So was it when she got home and she had to take it out? <laughs> I ran right up to him, I'm like, whoa! And then when she finally was getting comfortable with her teeth, she would pop her teeth out. This <laughs> 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 just, you know, I was startling at first, but you know, it didn't <laughs> gross me out or anything. I'm very proud of Alex because she's accomplished a lot. She's really inspired a lot of people. I think it's really brave of her to share her story because when I first met her, she didn't really have a lot of confidence. The message I want to get across is that beauty is not what's on the outside, it's what's on the inside and how you treat people. 
My message to other people dealing with tooth loss is it's okay to lose teeth, whether you're young or old, it happens and you don't have to be ashamed.